Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be His kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, The first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Dearly beloved, let us come into the presence of the Almighty God, praying together as we kneel. Please kneel. Together. Most, Most merciful, merciful God, God, I confess that I have sinned against you in thought, word, word and deed, by what I have done, and by what I have left undone. I have not loved you with my whole heart. I have not loved my neighbor as myself. I am truly sorry and I humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on me and forgive me, that I may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Be stand. Together, the Gloria in excelsis. Glory, Glory to, God to God in the, the highest, and, and peace to his people on earth. Lord, Lord God, heavenly King, King Almighty God, God and Father, Father, we worship you. We give you thanks. We praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In, in the, the glory, glory of God, God the Father. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, grant us, we pray, the grace to thankfully receive and participate in the sacred mysteries of the body and blood of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, that we may always manifest in ourselves the fruits of your eternal love, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A proclamation of the Word of God from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 2, beginning at verse 16. For there is no lasting remembrance of the wise man as with the fool, inasmuch as in the coming days all will be forgotten. And how the wise man and the fool alike die. So I hated life, for the work which I had been done under the sun was grievous to me, because everything is futility and striving after wind. Thus I hated all the fruit of my labor for which I had labored under the sun, for I must leave it to the man who will come after me. And who knows whether he will be a wise man or a fool, yet he will have control over all the fruit of my labor for which I have 
labored by, act, by acting wisely under the sun. This too is vanity. Therefore, I completely despaired of all the fruit of my labor for which I had labored under the sun. When there is a man who has labored with wisdom, knowledge, and skill, then he gives his legacy to one who has not labored with them. This too is vanity and a great evil. For what does a man get in all his labor and in his striving with which he labors under the sun? Because all his days his task is painful and grievous. Even at night his mind does not rest. This too is vanity. There is nothing better for a man than to eat and drink and tell himself that his labor is good. This also I have seen, that it is from the hand of God. For who can eat and who can have enjoyment without him? For to a person who is good in his sight, he has given wisdom and knowledge and joy, while to the sinner he has given the task of gathering and collecting, so that he may give to one who is good in God's sight. This too is vanity and striving after wind. The word of the Lord. Please stand for the responsorial psalm, which today is Psalm 45. My heart overflows with a good theme. I address my verses to the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. You are fairer than the sons of men. Grace is poured upon your lips. Therefore, God has blessed you forever. Gird your sword on your thigh, O mighty one, in your splendor and your majesty. And in, and in your, your majesty, majesty ride on victoriously for the cause of truth and, and meekness and righteousness. Let, Let your right hand teach you your awesome things. things. Your arrows are sharp. The peoples fall under you. Your arrows are in the heart of the king's enemies. Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of uprightness is the scepter of your kingdom. You loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of joy above your fellows. All, All your, your garments, garments are fragrant with mirror and aloes and cash. Out, Out of ivory, ivory palaces, string instruments, instruments have made, have you, made glad. you glad. King's daughters are among your noble ladies. At your right hand stands the queen in gold from Ophir. Listen, O daughter, daughter, give attention and incline your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. Then the king will desire your beauty, because he is your Lord. Bow down to him. The daughter, the daughter of Tyre will come, come with, with a gift. The rich among the people will seek your favor. The king's daughter is all glorious within. Her clothing is interwoven with gold. She will, she will be, be led to the king in embroidered work. The virgins, her companions, who follow her, will be brought to you. They will be led forth with gladness and rejoicing. They will enter into the king's palace. In place of your fathers will be your sons. You shall make them princes in all the earth. I will cause your name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore, the peoples will give thee thanks forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please be seated. A proclamation of the Word of God from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, chapter 1 and chapter 2, beginning at verse 18.
Then three years later, I went up to Jerusalem to become acquainted with Cephas and stayed with him 15 days. But I did not see any other of the apostles except James, the Lord's brother. Now in what I am writing to you, I assure you before God that I am not lying. Then I went into the regions of Syria and Cilicia, and I was still unknown by, by sight to the churches of Judea which were in Christ. But only they kept hearing, He who once persecuted us is now preaching the faith which he once tried to destroy. And they were glorifying God because of me. Then after an interval of 14 years, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas, taking Titus along, uh, Titus along also. And it was because of a revelation that I went up, and I submitted to them the gospel, which I preach among the Gentiles, but I did so in private to those who were of reputation for fear that I might be running or had running in vain. But not even Titus, who was with me, though he was a Greek, was compelled to be circumcised. But it was because of the fool's brethren who had sneaked in to spy out our liberty, which we have in Christ Jesus, in order to bring us into bondage. But we did, but we did not yield in subjection to them for even an hour, so that the truth of the gospel might remain with you. But from those who were of high reputation, what they were, what they were makes no difference to me. God shows no partiality. Well, those who were of reputation contributed nothing to me. But on the contrary, seeing that I had been entrusted with the gospel to the uncircumcised, just as Peter had been to the circumcised, for he who effectually worked for Peter in his apostleship to the circumcised effectually worked for me also to the Gentiles. And recognizing the grace that had been given to me, James and Cephas and John, who were reputed to be pillars, gave to me and Barnabas the right hand of fellowship that we might go to the Gentiles and they to the circumcised. They only asked us to remember the poor, the very thing I was also eager to do. The word of the Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And in your spirit. May the Lord be on our minds, our lips, and our hearts as we hear his holy gospel. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew, chapter 13. We shall be reading from verses 53 to 58. When Jesus had finished his parables, he departed from there. He came to his hometown and began teaching them in their synagogue, so that they were astonished and said, Where does this man get this wisdom? and these miraculous powers. Is it not that this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary, and his brothers James and Joseph, and Simon and Judas? And his sisters, are they not with us? Where, did, where, where then did this man get all these things? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his hometown and in his own household. And he did not do many miracles there because of their unbelief. The Gospel of the Lord. May still.
Please be seated. Magandang umaga po muli sa lahat. The goodness of our God in us. Talagang napakabuti po ang ating Diyos sa ating lahat. Uh, sa umagang po ito, alam ko lahat kayo ay sasangayon po sa akin. Lalo na po dito sa sasabihin ko, lahat tayo hindi po karapat dapat na maging tagapaglingkod ng Diyos. Ngunit dahil sa kanyang awa at grasya, tayong lahat po ay nakakapasok sa kanyang templo bilang mga tagapaglingkod. At bilang mga tagapaglingkod ng Diyos, ay may kanya-kanya po tayong itinalagang papel sa kanyang kaharian. Every one of us is unique when it comes to our uh, roles and responsibilities in His kingdom. Sa kaso po natin, lalo po sa atin po lahat, may kanya-kanya po tayong abilidad. Sa akin po, responsibilities, sa akin po ay tinalaga ng uh, responsibilidad ang pamunuan ng simbahan natin po sa tagig. Mga obispo po ay may responsibilidad na pangalagaan ang mga diocese ng uh, ating uh, ng CEC. Our second reading for today talks about the amazing mission of Paul. So balikan lang po natin yung salaysayin ito sa ating pangalawang pagbasa. Kung saan, sabi doon, pagkatapos ng tatlong taon ay pumunta si Pablo sa Jerusalem para makipagkita kay Pedro. So, nag siya doon ng dalawang linggo at na, na malagi siya sa Jerusalem. At nakita niya si Santiago. At maliban sa kanya, wala na siyang ibang nakita. At medyo pang defensive siya doon eh. Sabi niya, siguro feeling niya, hindi natin siya paniniwalaan na si Santiago lamang ang nakita niya. Pagkatapos, pumunta naman siya sa Syria at Silesia. At nabalitaan ito ng lahat ng mananampalataya sa Judea na ang dating uh, umuusig sa kanila ay isinang mga ngaral ng salina, salita ng Diyos. At dahil nga doon, sinabi niya, sabi ng mga tao, lubos silang nasiyahan at nagpasalamat sa Diyos dahil sa ginawa niya sa buhay ni Pablo. At napakahabang panahon ulit na nakabalik si Pablo sa Jerusalem. Pagkatapos pa ng labing apat na taon at kasama niya na dito si Bernabe at Tito. Ito na panahon na tinanggap siya ni Pedro, Santiago at Juan bilang apostol sa mga hindi hudyo. Panagay, palagay ko sa panahong iyon, masayang masaya si Pablo. Tingnan natin, no? Kakaiba talaga ang ugali ni, ni Pablo. Medyo may pagkaradikal. Masyadong passionate sa kanyang pinaniniwalaan. Actually, hindi naman siya naghihintay na ma-endorse ni, ni Pedro. Pero alam niya na kailangan niyang sabihin sa kanila kung ano ang kanyang ginagawa. Minsan, tayo kapag nakaka-encounter tayo ng isang mananampalataya na hindi kaparehos ng style kung paano tayo mag-minister, medyo na-open po tayo. Hindi na natin pinapakinggan ang taong ito. Nagiging sarado kaagad ang ating mga isipan. Kay Pablo, ipinahayag ng Diyos na hindi lamang ang ibanghelyo ng biyaya ng Diyos or gospel of grace, but also the mystery that he, that the Gentiles are also fellow heirs in Christ. Sabi nga ni Pablo sa, sabi nga sa Ephesians chapter 3 verse 8 to 9, To me, the very least of all saints, this grace was given to preach to the Gentiles 
the unfathomable riches of Christ and to bring to light what is the administration of the mystery for ages has been hidden in God who created all things. Si Pablo ay binigyan ng responsibilidad na ilibas ang misteryo ng katawan ni Kristo sa mundo. Ang bagong mukha ng katawan ni Kristo. Walang pinipili, lahat pasali. Palagay ko kaya inutusan ng Diyos si Pablo na bumalik sa Jerusalem ay para gamitin siya na may parating kina Pablo, Juan at Santiago na ang kaharian ng Diyos ay para sa lahat. Na siyang inaknalit ni Pedro sa kanyang sulat mula sa ikalawang Peter chapter 3 verse 15. Peter said, and regard the patience of our Lord as, sal as salvation, just also our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given him, wore to you. One of the mysteries of the church is we are all knit together in perfect unity in Christ. Last Sunday po, ipinagdiwang natin ang pista ng Corpus Christi. Every time we are taking the body and blood of Christ, we are being reminded of our relationship with God and with one another. We are one in Christ, knitted together. Alam ko po, malayo pa tayo sa pagiging perfecto. Malayo pa tayo dun sa tunay na pagkakaisa kay Kristo. Pero kung lahat tayo ay gagawin yung ating parte para maabot natin yung point na tayo ay isa na layunin, makakamit natin ang ating minimiti at mas lalo nating mapapupurihan ang Diyos. Kung nagawa ni Pedro, Juan at Santiago na tanggapin si Pedro, Pablo sa kabila ng bagay na ginawa niya sa simbahan, magagawa rin nating tanggapin ang ibang tao, anuman ang kanilang ginawa, anuman ang kanilang kasarian, at pinagmulan bilang kaisa natin sa ating pananampalataya. Ngayon po, inaanyayahan ko po kayong lahat, ngayon natingnan ang altar at tapag ng ating Diyos, ng ating Panginoon. Here we are one with Him, with one another. Here, we can find love without our borders. Amen po ba? Please stand. In faith, let us now profess the Apostles' Creed. Together, I believe, I believe in God, God the, the Father Almighty, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth. earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church and the world. Almighty Father, we lift before you your holy Catholic Church. That you would lead us in truth, baptize us in love, and unite us in the Spirit. We pray for her leaders, especially Bishop Craig and Bishop Ariel. That they with one voice minister your life to your people and the world. 
We lift before you, the people of this community, this nation, and the world. That we may warn not and serve the God. We pray for our governmental leaders, especially President Marcos. That you would lead them in the ways of justice and peace. We lift before you all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. That you send your comfort and grace upon them. We come before you, Father, and lift up to your brothers and sisters, O Lord, who are in need of your healing. We pray for Gloria, Tess, Charmaine, Grace, Jose, Mitch, Kenneth, Merlin, Fe, Maria Loreto, Fur, Dennis, Antonio, Virgili, Marisa, Vic, Carrie, Marinel, Christina Ann and Lucas, Prechelle, Nelia, Jay, Levy, Edith, Raquel, Perry, Lights, Desogen, Mark, Priscillin, Recto, Shanros, Raquel, Thomas, Rodriguez family, Gepayo family, Simeon, Baby, Raymond, Elaine, Agatha Christie, Andre, Marvin, Sophia Recto, Sophia Javier, and Nelson. Your mercy and grace be upon them, O God. Give to the departed eternal rest. Grant that we may share with them in your everlasting kingdom. Together let us lift up our corporate petition. Almighty, Almighty God, God and King, King our, our dwelling, dwelling place in all generations, generations owner, owner of the earth and all it contains, contains and grant, grant unto us our allotted inheritance, we pray, pray and, and the grace to build upon it, facilities in which your people, being restored in your image and ever growing in love for you, might become a habitation of your presence and ministers of your life, to the glory of Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns together with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Grant, Almighty Father, that we, your children, partake of the sacrament this day in a worthy manner, judging rightly your body by living together in unity and harmony with every member thereof. We ask this for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. 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 Now, together, let us bring our offerings unto the Lord. Tayot ng umawit ng buong galak at sigla Atin siyang purihin sa sayaw at pagkanta Utusan ang ating laman at isipan Kaluluwa at buong kalooban Napurihin 
at sigla Atin siyang purihin sa sayaw at patata Utusan ang ating laman at isipan Kaluluwa at buong kalooban Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise, Praise Him, him all creatures, creatures here below. Praise, Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise, Praise him, Father, Son, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become the body of Christ. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become the blood of Christ. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we bring these tithes and offering before you. They will be used in your church for the work you have set before us and the furthering of your kingdom. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks to Jesus Christ, our Lord. With love, we celebrate his death. With living faith, we proclaim his resurrection. With unwavering hope, we await his return in glory. Now with the saints and all the angels, we praise you forever. Holy, 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 Lord, Lord God, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your word spoken to the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days, you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him, you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him, you have brought us out of error into truth, out of, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. And we offer our sacrifice and praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. Please kneel. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and the blood of Jesus, the new covenant. 
On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take it. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Please stand. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Remember your servant Craig, our patriarch, our yell, our bishop, and all the clergy and all your faithful people. In the fullness of time, Put all things in subjection under you, Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country where with all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. To Jesus Christ, our Lord, firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Jesus Christ taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah! Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the suffer of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The gifts of God for the people of God, take them in remembrance that Jesus died for you and feed on him in your hearts with thanksgiving.
God, Heavenly Father, you have, have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, our Savior Jesus, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with the spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen.